What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can legally rob Goodwill on Amazon if you plan to buy books on Amazon and then resell them back on Amazon for a profit. I was actually just doing my normal sourcing and I came across a book and when I went ahead and looked at the different offers on the listing, I found Goodwill Industries of South Florida right now offering a code save 50% on three select items. Now it turns out if you add more than three items, then you can get 50% off every single book and that got me thinking, hey guys, there's an amazing opportunity right now to basically legally rob Goodwill. So if you go over to my cart, you can actually see I've got over $1,200 worth of items in my cart. These are all books that I've already vetted and looked at. These could be a great buys at 50% off. And you can see if I go and click proceed to checkout, that that $1,200 buy cost is actually brought down to just $703 after literally 50% of its cut away for this 50% off crazy deal that Goodwill South Florida is running. I mean, you can go to the orders. You can see basically every single one here has a coupon code that's going to cut every single thing in half. And so what I want to do is show you how you could use this opportunity with Goodwill to find amazing books that pretty much no one else is going to be picking up right now. So the way that you're going to take advantage of this is you first are going to need this Goodwill seller ID, and then you're going to need to plug it in to keep a product finder so that you can find all the products that they're listing on Amazon right now. So the way to do that is actually really simple. Again, you just go to their listing here on Amazon. You'd go in down here, click on their Amazon storefront name, and then you're going to have their seller ID right after the equal sign. It says seller equals. Basically, you just get double click and grab that seller ID. And now what you're going to need to do is pull up keep a product finder. So I'm over here on the Keep a homepage, come to the data tab and then click on product finder. And once you're there, you can just control F for find and type in seller ID. Press enter a couple times and you'll get down to this part that says seller. And you're just going to go ahead and control V paste. And you'll see that this comes up with 16,000 products. So basically this Goodwill of South Florida has 16,000 products right now listed on Amazon. And the goal is to find some products that, um, it, or there's a lot of strategies, honestly. So we'll, we'll, we'll dive into them and this is going to be a cool video. I'm going to scroll back up and go to the root category and click uh, books. And you're going to see that actually takes away about 3,000 products or narrows it down. Now you may not want to do that because potentially they'll also sell DVDs and CDs and video games at a very large discount with this 50% off as well. But we're going to go and just look at the book category because I sell mainly books. Now there's a few different strategies for how you can find awesome books probably the biggest one if you want to get the most off like you know the most dollar amount saved is to search for really high value books now i'm not sure i don't think a lot of people have a lot of capital to do that so let's do that last but what we can do is start with books that we think are undervalued or actually books that are close to being undervalued and so a very simple way that you could use keep product finder to do this is you could just set but a 90 day used average price of let's say, you know, $35. That's gonna bring us down to 427 products. What we can say is, you know, let's find anything right now that, you know, it's currently under 25 bucks. So essentially a product that has held value on average of 35 bucks or more, but currently today it's under 25 bucks. So maybe it's a little bit undervalued and they wanna make sure it's actually selling. And even though there's only 37 products, you probably still wanna, you know, look at at least one sales rank drop in the last 180 days. If we do that, that brings us down to 31 products. So we can click find products. And now what we're just going to do is some manual keep a searching. We're just going to use our cursor to hover over a product. And really what we're trying to find here is any product that looks like it's close to being undervalued. And then we're just going to go to the Amazon listing and see if getting 50% off that item will actually make this profitable. So for example, here's a book that definitely is a seasonal book. You can see uh, it's a world language book. It looks like it sells really well in August, September, and January, February of the stereotypical use sales rank pattern. And so what we could do is we can open up this on Amazon and we can search now for the goodwill of South Florida. And so what we're going to do is come over here and click on the different listings here. And you can see, well, there you go. You've got goodwill industries of South Florida, 2329. And they have that save 50% coupon code right there. So we can do a little bit of math. Just type in 2329 plus the 399 shipping. That comes out to 2728. But then you can divide by two on Celeram and you get a buy cost of 1364. And the reason why that's so cool is because guys, there's no way you could have bought this product for 1364 literally any day of the last year. And this is a book that probably pretty easily sells for 45 to 50 bucks. So you can go and put in your know, selling price of 45. That's a hundred percent ROI completely manufactured by the fact that Goodwill right now is running this 50% off. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are going to ask Josie, how the heck do you know when they have these 50% off uh, deals? The truth is you never really know, right? 
But what I can, can say is that if you are sourcing every day, you'll start to notice opportunities like this. And this is one of those times where there's incredible opportunity. I mean, I'm literally up at 1.27 a.m. in the morning. And, you know, this is an opportunity that I just found out about right now. And who knows how long this window of opportunity is going to be open. But just want to let you know that there's possibilities out there and you got to take advantage of them. So this is clearly a book that's going to be profitable. And this was just like their, I think, the third or fourth one down. Now, of course, you can keep going if you want. For example, here's another book, this physics uh, book, Principles with Applications. You can see it actually slightly undervalued. Now, obviously, all these books you want to do due diligence. If they're textbooks, make sure you run their ISBN through the books run, counterfeit probability check, make sure that they're not counterfeit, uh, and make sure you can actually sell them right before you do this. But here's a book that looks to be undervalued. You know, normally, it's selling in the you know 45 to 50 range in January, February. Last textbook season, it was popping off at literally over $100 in use condition. I mean, kind of more realistically, 60, 70, but got into the 80, 90 dollar range, 80 or 90 range during textbook season so again what you could do is go to this listing because again this is a book that looks like it's undervalued and essentially you could go ahead and look at the offers and see if we have goodwill on this at that you know lower price and so there they are again acceptable condition so we can go and type in $19.96 and go in and, and type in a 399 and divide that by two so our buy cost would be 11.97 now unfortunately i can't sell this book which means you know obviously i want to be picking up this book but it just goes to show you how crazy this could be all right, and the last one I'll show you with this, you know, very simple search is just a couple one down. Uh, the Ultimate Guide to Daniel Fast. You can see this has sold, sell. <laughs> so you can see this has sold pretty well in December, or January for about $32 at the minimum, right? That was the cheapest price with the number of sales rank drops. It also has been cheaper in the past, but this is definitely a book that has a seasonal pattern that always tends to do well during a specific time of the year and, and pop off in value. And so again, you could go to the Amazon listing, you could pick up a book really cheap. And so if you're on a budget, this is kind of one of the easiest ways that you can pick up these books by the way you have the buy box price at 110 which is completely inflated and it's probably never going to sell for that but the fact of the matter is we can look to see if goodwill is on this listing and let's see looks like they're right here at 897 so we could go and type in eight dollars and 97 cents plus three dollars and 99 cents we can divide that by two and we get $6.48 as a buy cost, which is, you know, pretty cheap buy cost. And again, this is something you probably want to be selling right around the $35 mark. You're looking at a 200% ROI on a book that's really cheap using this really awesome tactic. By the way, guys, I'm going to let you know that these sort of advanced sourcing techniques are available in the H2A Masterclass I made back in November. We've got over 200 people in our Facebook community group and over 200 people who joined the Masterclass. Got a lot of awesome reviews on it. And, you know, this is, for example, one of the ways I would consider an advanced sourcing strategy. So if you're interested in plenty of other advanced sourcing strategies, then make sure you consider joining it because it could definitely elevate your book selling game. Now, I mentioned other ways to use Keep a Product Finder. And so what we can do is go back to the advanced filter here and change some things up. So now let's actually look for books that have a lot of value and see if by reducing them in half, by getting them 50% off, let's see if these are books that are now amazing buys. So what I'm gonna do is come back to my use price here and I'm gonna get rid of the 25 and the 35. Instead, let's just look for anything with a 90 day average of, you know, let's just say, I don't know, $100 or more. Let's see what Goodwill's got. They got 42 products that have at least one sales rank drop in the last six months that are over $100 right now. And so what we could do is we could just go, you know, line by line. We can see here's a book that, that has sold for 147. It looks like it sold for 47. 199 as well. In the past, potentially has, let's see, a collectible. Yeah, collectible sold for 99 there sold for 110 so a book that kind of is in and out of stock but can easily sell for over 100 bucks right now it looks like it's listed at 150 bucks and so what we can do is see okay goodwill industries of south florida is right there for 150 basically 154 if you divide that by two you're picking this book up for 77 dollars and i think there's only one other time you could pitch it out for a little bit cheaper than that but here's a book that again reliably sells for over 100 dollars recently it sold for 147 recently sold for 199 so up to you whether you want to pick that up it's kind of on the borderline but that's pretty insane that you can get 50 percent off a book that is that expensive here's a really another really cool book that looks like it has opportunity so here's a pre-algebra and introductory algebra book Looks like it sells very well. Generally, there are not very many use offers. It's selling for basically 150 uh, quite often. And you can see right now it's listed for about 114. So again, what we can do is go to the listing because Amazon, uh, sorry, because Goodwill of South Florida should be on this listing and it probably is them in the buy box right there. So we can see, yeah, 114 plus 399 shipping. So we do 114.49 plus a total of 399 shipping. That gives us 118. We divide it by two. 
because our, our buy cost at 59.24. And here's a book that I think pretty realistically should be able to sell, you know, during the textbook season for probably like 130, 140 bucks. So if you put like a selling price of 130, there you go. $37 profit is potentially, you know, obviously possible could sell for more than that because you have sales rank drops when the new price was at 200 and there were, were no used offers on it. So you might even be able to get 169 for this. And, you know, that could quite easily become insane. Just a couple down, you can see here's another book that looks quite insane. You can see a sales rank drop at 90, another one at 77, a couple at 70. And then this is listed at 41 bucks right now. So same sort of principle, $41 or probably like 45 after shipping divided by two. You're probably picking up for like 2250 Here's a book that you could probably sell for 60 bucks pretty easily. Just a few books down. Here's another one, a book that, again, is selling for in the 80s, even has some sales. It looks like in the, you know, well over 100 Currently, it's listed at 120. Amazing historical sales, even up into the 200 and even the 300 range, but very consistently well over 100. Right now, it's at 120. Again, same principle. Get it in half and get it probably 65 bucks, and you could probably sell this book for at least 120, 130, maybe even more than that. Now, one last pro tip for you here. Goodwill of South Florida doesn't just sell on Amazon. They also sell on eBay, or at least they cross-list their books on eBay. And sometimes they run some pretty crazy deals. And this isn't, by the way, just Goodwill of South Florida. There's also... Quite a few other goodwills that might not do as crazy of deals like this, but might do, you know, buy one, get one free, might do, you know, buy one, get 30% off. And all this is just extra margin that you can use to, to find books that are already great, already good deals and turn them into amazing deals. And here's how you do that. So you can see, again, this book that we started with, this, The Last Airbender, you can see Goodwill Industries of South Florida is selling it on the Amazon listing. On the Cuba graph, you can just go and click this eBay button and you'll see that, okay, well, it looks like this is them right here. Look at this code they got going on. Buy three, get two free with coupon. So awesome deals there. Now, one last strategy you can use for Keep a Product Finder to find some awesome books with this Goodwill is again, go back and keep a product finder. Instead, you can just look for books that have seen this a certain percentage drop in price. So we can come over here to use, and we get to say something like, hey, over the last 30 days, let's look for anything that's had, let's say a 40% drop in use price. And let's say that has to have at least a $30 90 day average. And so this brings back 36 different products. And you know, you can just scroll down and there's probably plenty of opportunity here. Like for example, this book looks great right here. Here's a book that definitely is undergoing a repricing right now, probably between this Goodwill and another mega bookseller and you can see this has got some recent sales in the 60s recent sales in the 40s generally selling for right around 40 you can pay it up for 16.77 uh, same sort of principle you would go over to the amazon page to see if you know if goodwill is actually on it so we can come here to the offers you can see they're right there for 1904 in good condition 1904 plus a total of 399 shipping divide that by two and now your purchase cost is 11.52 and i don't see why you wouldn't be able to sell this book for right around, you know, 45 bucks. So you put it in your sell price, sell price of 45. There you go, $20 profit and just an awesome pickup. Actually, just one more pro tip for you. You could also use this to find some awesome high school or seasonal books like Christmas books, right? This is when you can pick those books up even cheaper. And this is when you could beat your competition because if you can lower your buy cost, you know, then it's going to be way easier for you to sell your products because your price point that you sell your products at can be lower. And so other people can't go as low as you and you can still make just as much profit as them, but sell the product lower. So here's how you do that. You go back to keep product finder again, make sure you have the seller ID for Goodwill in the seller ID spot. And what we can do is, just go down to the book category and under, let's say, you know, manufacturer, you can type in some publishers. Like for example, Saxon is a homeschool uh, publisher. And so you can click Saxon Publishers. Looks like they actually only have one product from them. So maybe that, that wouldn't work. But you can type in maybe something like Home McDougal. And you can see that they have, actually have six products there. So kid find those products and similar thing we can go and see if any of these potentially would be good now you could also use this to again search for christmas books so what i did is went back to product finder as well and i just typed in the text field christmas and uh, that brought back 36 products by the way, I also made sure that I clicked Amazon out of stock because a lot of these books Amazon is selling for very cheap and they're always going to kind of be like the ceiling price. So I also said Amazon out of stock that came back with 36 products. And then again, you just be doing some manual sourcing, trying to look for anything that has a nice storage of bull kind of like a increase in use price during winter, during November, December. And so here's a great example right here at the Time Life Treasury of Christmas. You can see this performed amazing last year. This book all the, got all the way up into the $25 mark, did really well. Um, previous years has done very well. And again, this is a book that Goodwill of South Florida is going to be on. You know, it's probably right, right around $7 shit, but again, you get 50% off. 
and might only be about three dollars and fifty cents so i'm over here on the actual uh, amazon page and actually this isn't even a book this is actually an audio cd set so yeah obviously audio uh, cds and dvds for christmas also do well not just books but again you can come look at these different offers and you can see we've got Goodwill Industries of South Florida there. It looks like they're at 410 uh, plus 399 shipping. So you can type that in, 809 divided by two. You're buying it for $4.04. I mean, if we just look at what had happened in the previous year, looks like it was easily selling kind of in the you know, mid to upper 20s. So you know, sell us at 25. Now you're making $10 profit on a used CD which is kind of insane. So anyways, that's all I got for you. I'm going to come over here and just check out with the 17 products that I found. So I found basically $1,200 worth of products that I think are going to be great to flip. You can see I'm going to get $549 off, bringing my buy cost down to $703. And you can see every single one of these books, like 120 cut down to 60, 71 down to 35, 19 down to 9, 86 down to 43, 180 down to 92, 114 down to 57. So, I mean, a lot of money is going to be made just from this crazy 50% off. So again, if you like these sort of advanced uh, sourcing strategies, make sure you check out the A2A Masterclass. Awesome program. A lot of people in it. A lot of great reviews about it. And I hope to see you guys in there. But that's all I got for you guys. Hope you have a good one. And later. Peace.